And as we know, Jesus, he's for everybody. He's for the sinner. He's for the religious people. He, he's not about denominations. He's about salvation. He's about finding Jesus. See, this is all about Jesus. It's not about your church and your religion. It's not about your pastor. Not about your Sunday school teacher. This is about obeying the Lord, doing the will of the Father. All right. So as much as in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are in Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. See, Paul, God's not a respecter of persons, see. He knocks on everybody's door. He knocks on everybody's heart. He loves everybody. Everybody, see, it's in about denominations. This is about Jesus. All right. Then for there in the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, and it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. See, see God's telling them, nobody has an excuse. Everybody knows there's a creator, see. That's what he's trying to emphasize right here. You can tell by the sun rising, by the snow, the rain, by the trees. Everybody knows there's a creator. And the Bible's saying here, there's no excuse for somebody not to believe in God. What I found out, there's people that say they don't believe in God. And what it is, they know there's a God, but they're mad at him, see. They're mad at him and say, why is my life like this? Why am I on drugs? Why have I lost all this? Why have I had a heart attack? How come I'm sick? See, they're really, they're mad at God. But see, what they need to understand is Jesus is waiting on them with open arms. See, he's got an agape love that is unbelievable, more than we can comprehend how much he loves people. All right, because that when they knew God, they glorified him, not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. See, you see what's going on here? They start thinking on the, with their mind. See, the Bible tells us, lead not to your own understanding. Oh, what's that mean? That means you can't figure this out in your mind, see. This is a walk of faith, love, love. And hope. You know, the Bible tells us, if, he says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. What's that mean? That means, see, when it boils down to it, when you're getting tempted, and everybody gets tempted every day, the devil, he tempts everybody every day. And what it boils down to, you got to make a decision, see. If I love the Lord, I'm not going to break his commandments or his statutes. But see, Evil in their heart, thinking our own imaginations. See, we tend to go lean to our own understanding. We say, I'm going to do it. God will forgive me. I, I think I can get by with it this time. But see, this is contrary to the Word of God. You know, the Bible tells us only he that doeth the will of the Father will enter in the kingdom of heaven. Wide is a gate, narrow is a way. Few will find it. Few will enter in. What's that telling us? See, we need to be praying always pray without ceasing reading the bible having a personal relationship with the lord getting your prayer closet be humble as a child be like the good samaritan if our brother's out here walking needs help stop by and help him do the will of the father see this is more than the ten commandments this is statues this is doing the will of the Father, see, being obedient, see. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. All right, let's go right here. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. What's that talking about? See, people 
They try to lean to their own mind, see. They try to uh, read books and try to figure life out for themselves. The only thing we need to figure out is the Bible, see. God tells us exactly right here all we need to know. You know, Bible stands B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. See, if we do it the Lord's, if we do the Lord's will, we keep his statutes, we keep his commandments, we keep reading his word, we start doing his will, God's going to bless us more than we can comprehend, and we're going to wind up in heaven. But if we do it our way, see, our way is witchcraft, our way is rebellion, see, leaning to our own understanding, leaning towards our flesh, see. If we do that, we're going to wind up in the pits of hell, see. This is about doing God's will. Why does the gate narrow the way? Why is that? Because they did not do the will of the Father. They were deceived, see. They thought they can get baptized when they were 12 or 13, like I thought. Go on your merry way and do what you want to. God will forgive you. But I'm telling you, you can't live in sin. You can't live uh, 